I'm a California native. Uh, I went to school in San Francisco for pastry. I met my husband, who was a Marine at the time, and we were married, but moved around every three years, so I could never really accomplish my dream of owning a bakery. It wasn't until he retired, and so we decided to move away from California, raise our kids here. So it was basically my turn to be the breadwinner, and it wasn't until about four or five years later that I finally was able to fulfill my dreams and open a bakery. I was doing it at my house, I was doing it at the farmers markets. I really feel like Williamson County needed a more upscale bakery. There's a lot of really good bakeries, but they cater more to pies and home style cakes. But people were really looking for that special occasion cake, pastry. Ours is a little French driven. We rely solely on doing events in the community. We, we do little to no advertising. That solidifies that we're doing something good. If people are coming in after they've tried our product or a friend has told them about it. I have a great group of girls that work for me and we span from 18 to, to 40 and we all just get along great. We have to get along great because we are in such close quarters. I think as a little girl, you kind of dream of owning a bakery. I would gladly hire a man, but it just seems like the ones that come here are really creative women. My grandmothers are, are long gone now, but I think about them and I, my grandmother on my dad's side was a Swedish immigrant and she would have never had this opportunity coming over from Sweden, but times are so different now. and. My mom was of that generation of the 70s where you, you got to go back out, you know, get in the workforce again. And I really think I owe it to them showing me that really, you know, you can have it all. I look forward to waking up and saying, you know what, I'm going to try making this today. Really, this profession is about making people happy. That's what we strive for.